is Alger and today we're going to be checking out something cute that I built. It is a totally 3D printed model and there's no screws, no glue and everything that you can see here is totally modular and can be upgraded later on. The wheels, the chassis, the tank treads, everything is 3D printed out of PLA and we're using an Arduino Uno, a motor driver shield, an HC05 Bluetooth module, an ultrasonic sensor, an IR sensor down here and also these things are movable, the sensors, so you can adjust them to whatever angle that you need them in and the cool thing about this model is that you can add different attachments of your own later on so suppose you wanted to add like a forklift attachment sure you can add that and the reason i built this is because i wanted to show everyone how easy it was to get into robotics and this is probably a super simple build it's very basic arduino uno coding as well so here are some of the steps that you can follow to build your own model or your own robot from scratch so step one, obviously you're gonna have to make your designs. I made mine super simple. Look, it's basically literally just a box, but it's probably the coolest box you've seen on this planet. And then you make the attachments for like the microcontroller, the sensors, whatever you wanna add on to them. And I made a little complicated design with the tank treads. Let me just show you. So even this is entirely uh, 3D printed, but you can also go for an easier approach, you know, maybe use like rubber tank treads. And another thing that you gotta uh, focus on is the coding. It's gotta be super simple. You know, these uh, this specific model is just run by two motors. I'm using two and 20 micro motors. They're around 200 RPM and you can use uh, higher RPM motors as well. It depends on how much torque you need and it uses an Arduino Uno, again, a Bluetooth module. Right now I'm using an HC05 because it's, I'm connecting it to an Android phone and it's a pretty old phone, so it's fine. But if you wanna connect it to an iOS device, maybe you can use something like an HC10 and that's it, uh, motor driver shield, you can find it on like Roku. So there, the parts are pretty sourceable. That's something that you gotta look into as well. And also you gotta be good at 3D printing. I gotta, thank the dude who did this for me, his name is Marin Kumar, he's a pretty nice dude and he 3D printed these parts pretty perfectly and usually one of the most important things for this model is the tank treads and it just fit on perfect and that's pretty awesome and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add some more attachments coming on later and I'll be making some videos on that as well and that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching let me know if you want more of these robots i'm planning to make a quadruped robot and maybe yeah that's about it thank you